What's going on YouTube? Today we're at the famous Young Parts and Equipment with Jay Young. And we're gonna do a little test. We're gonna see how well Harbor Freight welding wire holds up versus Hobart welding wire. So you guys come take a look. There's so man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times a hard Mississippi. All right, guys, this is going to be the machine that we use on each test. As you can see, it's a Hobart Handler 140, and it is loaded with some Harbor Freight Vulcan Flux Core 35 thousandths. We're gonna do, Jay's got a piece of angle, a piece of flat stock, both of them's been cleaned. We're gonna run a test on this with the Harbor Freight, and then we're gonna try it with a brand new roll of Hobart and see which one works better. All right, guys, as you can see, we're gonna show you the settings. This is loaded with the Harbor Freight wire. The speed for the feed is on 30, and the temperature's on four. Another thing that me and Jason have been talking about, if you're using flux core, you need to make sure that your polarity is set for flux core. As you can see, the positive side is actually going to the ground clamp. The negative side is tied into the gun feed. So that can help you guys avoid some splatter. So we're gonna get ready and run this first one with uh, home or Harbor Freight wire and we'll get a good look at it. Nothing that can be fixed with a grinder. Still have all the splatter. Now, As you can see, the settings are the same. Step 30, speed is at 4. The temperature is at 4, speed is at 30. So there's a whole lot of wire. And I think it's fair to probably see there's some splatter all the way up to here. Probably to mark this off and clean off anything here, you know, because I don't want to give it. Exactly the damn same. I'm telling you, that firepower does not do that. Nope. Does not do that. Matter of fact, when it, look at here, look on the welding table. Yeah. When I was shooting that shadow box, I got pictures of it, you know, before and after when I changed it, whatever. Mm -hmm. If 
feels like a hot wire. The way it's heat, yeah, yeah, it's a hotter wire, but they don't do, uh, they don't do as pretty as a job. That's a lot hotter. Damn, I wish I had some firepower here. So the whole bar is definitely hotter. Why would you even want gas? Check this out. This welder, your piece. Look, no splatter. None. Look. You can tell when you weld for you how it's gonna chip off. Row of dimes. Row of dimes. Where would you want gas? All right, guys, as you've seen the Vulcan by Harbor Freight, it did okay. Nothing to write home about. The Hobart wire was a little bit hotter, but still had a lot of splatter. And as expected, the firepower really did weld. There was very minimal splatter, and it did an excellent job, made a beautiful weld. So I think the firepower wins hands down. Like always, guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you next time.